Welcome back our socials at KBC Channel One, our sign language interpreter, the ever smiling Lensa Oding with specs. She told me she needs the specs to bring a bright future closer. <laughs> well, the government has defended its course of leveraging technology to secure identification cards after eliminating the vetting process. Speaking during the launch of guidelines for the acquisition of IDS for communities in urban and cosmopolitan areas, Immigration Principal Secretary Ambassador Julius Bitok and his interior counterpart Raymond Domolo say that chiefs will be held responsible for any Kenyan ID issued to foreigners. This follows the president's directive to do away with the current multi-agency vetting committee that has been blamed for frustrations linked to corruption and inordinate delays in the issuing of ID cards to communities living along national borders and cosmopolitan areas. We are very keen in working with our sister department, Internal Security and National Administration, to ensure that we remove all the bottlenecks. And you are the people actually who are going to help us. There is still a lot of uh, identity theft in terms of people using documents that are not properly acquired, but also misinformation on people who go out there. Now, a lot of this is facilitated uh, by our officers. We grant citizenship by blood, not by the soil. By blood meaning, even if you are born in our soil, one of your parents must be a Kenyan. So by just being born here doesn't mean that you can acquire citizenship or you can acquire our documents.